Hi everyone, today we are going to learn about seawater transport. The oldest types of boats date back thousands of years. They were made of wood and were a basic canoe shape. They had oars to help them paddle. Modern or new canoes are normally made from types of plastic, not wood like the older boats. So here is a modern canoe. Ships. Explorers used boats to discover new countries. This is before airplanes were invented. Sailors had to stay on these ships for a long time. They had no engines, but used the wind to make them move. They used old maps and the sun and moon to help them find their way. Some older boats use steam to make them move, just like steam trains. So here is a picture of a boat. What do you think this one is made of? There are many types of fishing boats in the world. Some are small and some are big. Some use nets to catch fish and some use fishing rods. Most fishing boats now use engines to make them move. Here's a picture of a yacht. Hovercraft. Dinghy. Canal boats. Canal boats are small and narrow to fit along the canals. People on board have to open the locks on their way. A gondola is similar to a canal boat as it fits in the small canals in Venice. They are traditional in Venice in Italy, but we can also see them in Bellagio. So the top picture is a canal boat, the bottom picture is a gondola. Cruise ship. Nowadays there are big boats that are like a hotel. They can carry thousands of people. They have swimming pools, restaurants and cinemas. People can travel around on holiday visiting new places while on the cruise ship. Here's a picture of a ferry. A ferry is a bigger type of ship as well. People use boats to keep fit and to have fun, like water skiing or wakeboarding. Rowboat, jet ski, kayak, speedboat, submarines. Submarines travel underwater and only come up sometimes. They have a telescope that comes out of the water to look at the surface at what is above. It is very small and cramped in submarines. Lighthouses. Here's a picture of a red and white lighthouse. They are used to send a strong light out to sea so that the sailors, the people on the ships and boats, know where the rocks and land are. And that's the end of our PowerPoint today. Now you're ready to continue learning about boats.